Hi. How are you, Alex? Hi. Thank you. I'm quite good. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Thanks, Kat. How, how about you, Miriam? I'm pretty fine. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, quite, quite fine. You, you answered yeah. me that you are fine. Okay. Your name yeah. is uh, Miriam, right? Uh, it's actually Mariam, but uh, you know, in different languages, maybe the pronunciation is a little bit different. But uh, if you want uh, the exact pronunciation in Persian, it is uh, Mariam. Mm -hmm. Mariam, okay. <laughs> so, nice to meet you. Nice, uh, nice to meet you too, Mariam. Oh, uh, thank you. So, um, okay, as the first, uh, just tell me how many languages do you speak? Uh, I am speaking not uh, too many languages. Uh, my native language is uh, Russian, and uh, mm -hmm. I can speak Ukrainian also because I live in Ukraine. I I am living on the oh. east of Ukraine, and uh, this uh, part of Ukraine speak Russian. Most people speak Russian. Mm, yeah, I see. I have a, I have a student from uh, Ukraine. And she told me that, uh, you know, different parts in Ukraine uh, just speak different languages like uh, Russian or uh, Ukrainian. Mm, that's uh, interesting. And so, uh, also, mm -hmm. I have been learning English for three years already. I think mm -hmm. uh, I can speak and uh, can understand the most, uh, most part <laughs> of English. No, in English? yeah oh that's great yeah sure sure so uh can you tell me uh why uh, why are you learning english why am i learning english you know i started doing that uh, three years ago uh, i thought uh, <laughs> to be honest i uh, knew nothing about learning process and uh, about learning english i uh, had uh, learned English in my school, but I couldn't speak. And uh, mm -hmm. I just remember when I met uh, any, any uh, person who I must speak English to. Mm -hmm. Is it understandable for you? <laughs> uh, you uh, told me you saw someone. Uh, was it was she or he a teacher? Or a friend, I didn't understand. I told you that I had learned English in my school. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, our educational system is very low. I think uh, it's very low everywhere. Yeah, I see. It's uh, similar to you, Ivan, because you know uh, we have some, you know, English uh, course at a school, but it's not uh, unfortunately really uh, efficient. And uh, you know what? It's maybe similar to most of the countries because I have heard from most of my students that they have studied uh, English uh, in maybe at a school, but uh, they aren't able to speak fluent and to. Mm, they uh, you know after finishing the school they weren't in a uh, at a good level of English so uh, yeah of course unfortunately it's like this but uh, is there um, I don't know lots of uh, private institutes uh, there um, I mean Ukraine uh, because in Iran there are lots of uh, English in institutes here and that's why most uh, Iranian maybe uh, actually my age the new generation uh, they may know uh, English. Uh, I don't know, they uh, are reasonably good at English, so uh, I don't know, how's it, uh, what's it like in uh, Ukraine? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think uh, in Ukraine, in uh, our schools, the uh, situation uh, is uh, the same, like everywhere, yeah, I'll tell you that, mm -hmm. I told that. I told you. Oh, but how about, about how about uh, you know private institutes except for uh, school? Do you have uh, any of them? We don't have a lot of private institutes or uh, schools, but we have it. But uh, it's very um, few, very small amount of uh, private oh, uh, oh. schools uh, in Ukraine. Uh, why? <laughs> I don't know, because uh, uh, we are used to, to uh, that uh, we have a, a free education 
we have uh, three schools and uh, most part of people they uh, uh, lead children in uh, in government in f in the free government schools and uh, maybe mm -hmm. uh, the rich people can afford themselves to mm -hmm. uh, to take uh, their children to private schools but uh, oh, to be yeah. honest uh, i even mm -hmm. didn't listen about that <laughs> Mm, yeah, I, I see. But you know what? Uh, of course, there are some private schools here uh, in Iran too. But I uh, just meant that uh, no private language institutes because there are some institutes here in Iran. They are maybe we can say uh, private, and uh, they will uh, teach the students, uh, the Iranian students, uh, how to uh, I don't know. How to uh, speak uh, Persian? Uh, as how to speak English? And uh, you know what? It's not a school. It's a private language institute. And I'm just working uh, in one. But I, I just ask you. We 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 don't have lots of uh, private schools here. But we have lots of uh, private uh, language institutes. You know what? While you are mm. uh, walking in us on the street, uh, no, these year, uh, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, these days you can just see uh, the language institutes a step by a step. They are all over the city. <laughs> and, uh, what but, do you uh, mean? What do you mean the institute. language institute, institutes? What mm -hmm. do you mean? It's uh, usual institutes where uh, every, everyone can teach uh, any yeah. language. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, uh, is there any in Ukraine? I, uh, to be honest, I... Um, uh, I couldn't, I can't understand that uh, exactly. Uh, we have institutes here where everyone can get uh, any speciality, right? It's institute. Mm -hmm. And of course you can learn English there. But, oh, uh, yeah, you can okay, English, so we don't have a separate uh, one for uh, just mm, no learning uh, language, right? Repeat, please. Uh, I mean, uh, you don't have a um, institute just especially uh, for a special for a language to learn a language, yeah. Uh, I think we have the institutes and university where you can get uh, this specialization, this speciality. Mm. For example, if you want to be a teacher of English, you should go in exactly this uh, institute where uh, <coughs> you will, where are you will um, taught, mm, yes. where are you will taught, you mm, you will yeah. be no no where are you will be taught by teachers oh. English language yes. But uh, what uh, is the language institutes? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know, there are uh, the institutes that uh, most of them uh, just teach English to all, any anyone who wants. Uh, it's not a school, uh, but you can just uh, register them. And, uh, you know, uh, there are some uh, terms. It's about, uh, in our institute, it's about uh, two months. Uh, uh, each, each two months is a term uh, here and uh, then uh, you know when you register that you uh, start uh, you uh, start uh, learning uh, English by a teacher in a class like uh, school but it's just English okay learning English not different mm -hmm. subjects like ah, mathematics okay, okay. History. it's just English so you okay? can you can and, visit uh, uh, I'm sorry you can visit usual institute and uh, at the same time you can visit this language institute right yeah of course of course we have uh, some la uh, as i told you language learning institutes uh, like this and most of them just teach english but uh, you know um, recently um, there i have uh, heard that there are uh, some institute uh, you know uh, teaching uh, different languages like french russian and here uh, the where i'm working uh, uh, you know, uh, there are different languages uh, th uh, for, uh, you know, if you want to learn, uh, you can just choose them, um, like Russian, uh, Turkish, or mm. let me remember, German. 
Okay, so uh, that's uh, why uh, yeah. most people in Iran uh, speak uh, English. Uh, not most of them, maybe. Uh, I told you, not uh, the old generation, but uh, the people my age uh, and maybe uh, even younger, uh, because the parents just uh, have understood the words of English uh, in our uh, you know nowadays life. So uh, they just uh, try to send uh, their children um, to some of these institutes. So if they t uh, if they uh, t uh, take some of these classes, they are able to uh, speak English. But I uh, just uh, mean that uh, there are lots of people in Iran who are uh, learning English at uh, these institutes. So maybe uh, at least they know a little bit about uh, English, and they can uh, just can they can just. Uh, get by in uh, English. I mean, uh, yeah, they can have a simple communication in English. Mm -hmm. But some of them are very good because you know, uh, actually, my husband is uh, as an uh, art hockey teacher too, and we were mm -hmm. uh, like a colleague there in uh, language learning institute, and uh, so um, I just uh, um, he just told me that uh, he was. Uh, Teaching, he have been teaching there since she, uh, he was uh, sixteen. So uh, it means that uh, no, repeat uh, please, the repeat young please. I, I didn't understand the last your phrase. Uh, so your husband started teaching when he was sixteen. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, you know, uh, it means that uh, he just started to learn uh, English uh, even sooner. She. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I'm just uh, telling that uh, because I have heard from uh, some of my students uh, about uh, you know in another countries in Turkey that uh, they just uh, say that um, most of the teachers, nearly all the teachers in their country, uh, have a, uh, are at least uh, in their thirties in their thirties. But uh, they were amazed that I'm just uh, 22 years old and uh, I, I'm teach I have uh, the experience of teaching English uh, for five years and now I'm uh, working on Nataki. But I just told them uh, that here in Iwa maybe it, it is not really common, but uh, it's not unusual to uh, at the same time because uh, I told you the new generation is like uh, to uh, learn English. Uh, and uh, they are just participating in some of these institutes. Okay, so <laughs> I understand the most part of your speech. So mm -hmm. you asked me when I started uh, learning process, my learning process, and why. I just had uh, free time, a lot of uh, free time, uh, three years ago, mm -hmm. and I started doing that. And uh, mm -hmm. mm, I couldn't stop. <laughs> I'm continuing oh, doing that now. Oh. I think my English is not good enough. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm also a tutor on Italki of uh, Russian. I teach oh, really? people That's great. Russian language. Yeah, I've been uh, working as a Russian tutor for two and a half uh, months only. Mm, that it's a uh, two and half months. Yeah, yeah, it's similar to me. I'm just uh, working here in Italy from the last days of uh, November. Ah, since, uh, I, I began <laughs> doing that uh, November 1st, since November 1st. Mm, okay, mm. so uh, mm -hmm, that's great. Uh, uh, who, congratulations. Thanks uh, you uh, too. <laughs> who, who of us had uh, more lessons? How many lessons <laughs> did you have? Oh, you know what? I'm not just uh, working uh, here. Uh, I mean, mm, I, I, I told you that uh, I'm working at the institute and I'm a medical student. I'm a university student, actually. Mm. So uh, I don't have lots, uh, a lot of time uh, for, you know, in my calendar. Mm. And maybe that's why I just uh, try to teach on my free time. Mm. So maybe it's, an, it's not a lot of uh, lessons, but let me check. I didn't know that. Mm. How I many also lessons? have... I also have my main job, and it is not mm. a main occupation on Italki. Oh, yeah. So, I see. Uh, it seems that uh, it became, I mean, 63. 
Okay. So. <laughs> I I had already 125 or 26. I don't remember. Oh, exactly. means that you have more spare, uh, spare time. Yeah, yeah I uh, try <laughs> to use uh, all my free time, even when I have a lesson uh, at night. I set my alarm and I wake up usually and uh, oh. and uh, teach <laughs> teach people. <laughs> For example, last night uh, I had a lesson uh, from uh, midnight to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's oh. why. That's why. Uh, uh, you mean midnight to 1 a.m.? Yeah, I see. That is not really. Oh no, no. Uh, I I have some, you know uh, some classes at. Uh, <coughs> I, I can say you that the latest one is from 10 p.m. to 11. But my husband uh, used to uh, just work about, uh, I don't know, uh, 11 or 12 hours on italki. Mm -hmm. So uh, he uh, just um, have um, some, uh, some uh, free time on his calendar, uh, maybe at uh, midnight. And I can remember, uh, you know, some months uh, ago, some months ago, uh, he just uh, was working like you, uh, sleeping and uh, setting an alarm to wake up and have another class. <laughs> but uh, I just found it was uh, he was really exhausted, and um, I didn't want him to uh, just harm um, I don't know harm uh, himself in, a, in this way because uh, as as a doctor and as his uh, wife, I want him to be uh, health healthy, and so healthy. I just recommended him healthy? to uh, you yeah. want him to be healthy. Mm -hmm, yes, of course, and uh, I just recommend him uh, wake up uh, early, uh, early in the morning, and uh, work, uh, you know, at most uh, till uh, midnight, not more. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, okay. he have uh, listened, and okay, okay. now nowadays, yeah, uh -huh. uh, I wanted to to tell you that uh, my main job is uh, I work as a security also, and uh, I. Mm. Must uh, not sleep uh, sometime at the night. Oh, yeah, only, I see. Only that is half, more logical. <laughs> half, only half of uh, night. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you told me that you are a, a doctor. Mm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a doctor right now, but I'm going to uh, be a doctor in the future because mm -hmm. I'm studying medicine. Mm -hmm. You are studying medicine. What is your speciality on this uh, area? Uh, I'm not studying for speciality. Uh, I'm still in, uh, you know, um, the general. Uh, I'm going to be a general physician, and uh, I have to study. You know, in Iran, you have to study uh, about eight years to become a GP. But uh, you know, and after that, what, what is GP? You, uh, what is what is GP? Is general physician, general ah. uh, physician as you no know, general doctor. But, um, you know, after that, uh, you may uh, decide uh, to, uh, I don't know, have, a, have another exam and choose your speciality and uh, then you have, uh, for example, the different choice of which speciality you want to study and then uh, maybe you have to study at least for uh, four more years to be a, uh, I don't know, and uh, to get your fellowship or something like this. Uh, you you told me. Right you, now, I mean, I'm sorry. Are are you uh, t are you telling me that about yourself that you have to study two years more to get some your goals? I didn't understand that exactly. Hmm, no, I'm just uh, explaining you something about the medical system in uh, Iran. Uh, okay. How to uh, become a doctor in Iran? Uh, I just told you I have uh, studied uh, at. Um, Medi I've been uh, studying at a medical uh, institute, uh, me medical uh, university, uh, for four years, and I can say that I'm in the middle of it. It means that I have another four years to study to become a general doctor, mm -hmm. not a, a you know a, a, special, a special expert. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I can just uh, have another exam, like. Uh, like the one I have had uh, when I wanted to enter uh, the university, uh, I, I'm going to have another exam and choose my speciality. And then again, I have to study for uh, four ah, more yes, years. Yes, I understand. I understand. We yeah, also have at least uh, four. 
But the if same. you want to become a brain and nerve surgeon, you have to uh, just study uh, for a specialty. You have to uh, study uh, six years. So it will be uh, become eight years for a GP and uh, you know uh, six years uh, for brain and uh, nerves. So uh, it will be like uh, fourteen. For mm -hmm. um, fourteen uh, years to study. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, if you want to be a teacher of English in Iran, I think mm -hmm. you should study less. Um, you know, there are two ways here to be um, to become an English teacher. One is to uh, uh, study uh, at uh, you know uh, private institutes like uh, the way I had uh, chosen. Um, you may uh, it depends on you in that case it depends on you but uh, the normal one is to uh, study six to seven years but if you just uh, want to uh, work uh, more uh, and have uh, more self studies maybe you ha uh, you are able to uh, you know uh, finish it at uh, two years or two to three years yeah it's possible to re uh, learn English and then you can become a, a, a an English teacher there in the institute or another private institute but you cannot uh, teach at the schools because they need uh, some uh, you know certificate uh, from universities and you have to study uh, english at university to um, get uh, your bachelor degree so um, maybe if you want to choose uh, if it is yet another way that i told you to become a, an english teacher um, if you want to uh, just enter university and study English, uh, it will uh, takes um, it will take more time. And uh, you know they are. I have found that the teachers uh, who have studied uh, at the university, and they aren't really fluent. And uh, but mm -hmm. I, I found the ones uh, who are studied uh, have studied at the institutes are better, uh, you know, better speakers. Okay, uh, okay, uh, not okay. About, yeah, but. Uh, you know, if you, um, yeah, we have uh, just uh, some of them, who, I mean, the ones who have studied at universities, uh, they have to um, have at least a PhD to uh, to be a fluent speaker. What is PhD? But, you know, uh, yeah, PhD is a kind of doc like we have doctorate in uh, you know medical issues or for the other majors except for medicine, uh, we uh, call PhD. The the end the stage. Uh, I don't, I don't know, degree is, is called PhD. Mm -hmm. I think in all, all over the world it's like this. I don't know why I don't know. So, uh, yeah, of course. Um, so they have uh, to study more if they want to become a, a very good English teacher uh, from that way. Uh, I mean, studying at the university. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, mm -hmm. like this. I just. But, uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I, it's, it's, excuse but. me, I will interrupt you, because <laughs> because I I also wanna, wanna speak English. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, go on. You just asked me some questions. Yeah, uh, no, right yeah. On. You also yeah. can ask me <laughs> any questions. Uh, okay, uh, okay, I, why not? So where are you working? Uh, you you told me you're a security guard. Yeah, I also started working as a security recently, uh, about uh, six uh, six months ago. Uh, mm -hmm, before yeah. that, uh, I've been in Poland. I worked there. Uh huh. Okay. So, uh, what's your schedule like? Uh, because you told you have to stay up, uh, you know, uh, some of the n nights. So, uh, what's your schedule like? Are you an early bird or a night owl? Mm. Uh, uh, when I worked in my city, it was, uh, I, you know, it's it just not a short story. Mm -hmm. uh, I've uh, been working, no, I've been, no, I worked, I, I just been. worked, no, I just oh, I worked, worked uh, on uh, factory in my city for it uh, no <laughs> what uh, it, what uh, tense should i use if i want to say that this uh, uh, this uh, story uh, began at some period and finished one year ago 
What what uh, what mm, tense should uh, I use? You uh, miss, it worked. Simple past. Yeah, simple I past. So, I worked on factory in my city. Uh, mm. Two years Maybe, ago, uh, I finished. You also can say I had been, uh, you know, working. But I now I am not working there. I had been. Yeah, ah. I had. I, okay, okay. I just uh, only recently I I er internalized English tenses only recently, and now I try to use it. Right. So I had been working on factory for uh, six years. It is factory mm -hmm. in uh, my city in Kharkov on the east of Ukraine. Yeah. And uh, you know it is a quite long period time. Uh, and uh, I was uh, early bird there. I uh, woke up very early to get my working place, and uh, after that uh, I went. Uh, I I came. I came uh, back home. Yeah. I came back home, and uh, I also went to bed quite early, quite early. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, the economical situation in uh, my uh, my country is not very good now, and uh, I decided to go to Poland to work there. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked there. I had been working, or I have been worked. Oh no! I have, I have been working, or uh, I uh, have worked, or I were I, I worked. I had been working. I had been working there mm -hmm. for six months, and uh, after that, I. I came back and mm -hmm. uh, I uh, understood that if I want to go to another country, to another place, I have, uh, I must have a uh, good speciality, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I decided to get uh, any speciality here. I uh, thought there about to be a truck driver and I thought about mm -hmm. US in those times <laughs> mm. but and uh, and about uh, five months ago I don't remember exactly I couldn't find a good job here in my city yeah and uh, I sent to I took my uh, video presentation and uh, mm. my account my account, uh -huh. but uh, the Russian tutors were not in a in a demand there. They were not in. Oh a really? Why? Because they had a lot of Russian tutors. There. Yeah, there are lots of uh, English tutors. I don't know, but uh, maybe there are more uh, demands for English. I don't know. No, I am talking to you about Russian tutors. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. I uh, just told you uh, there are also uh, you know, uh, lots of English tutors on Italki, as you uh, may saw, uh, but uh, you may see. But uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'm just telling that it's not a very bad uh, situation. There are lots of demands. I have uh, filled all my uh, free time uh, with the lessons. So, uh, but I don't know. I think that uh, Russian is also another language that the, um, most of the people like to learn. Is yeah, like that? yeah, yeah. There are a lot of native Russian speakers, <laughs> and uh, I d didn't know about that. But now I know that a lot of people want to learn Russian, and uh, I told you that I have a lot of students now who wants to mm, that's uh, learn good. Russian, and a lot of. Uh, people from US. I didn't expect mm. that. I didn't expect that because when I <laughs> I uh, tried to find a person who I can speak English with, it was quite difficult mm. because um, Americans uh, refused. I couldn't find any American person to speak uh, English for free, I mean. I wanted to speak for free. But mm. I found I found people from Asia <laughs> 
uh, from Asia. To be honest, I have a friend from Iran. I uh, mm -hmm. speak with uh, hey. him for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's good. And so, uh, uh, and uh, what I wanted to tell also. What I was speaking about. About, about uh, your schedule, and you told me that uh, you know uh, recently you have uh, entered an italki and uh, uh, as a teacher, Russian teacher, but there aren't uh, lots of demands. Yeah, here. yeah, I sent them my video presentation, but uh, I and they they answered me that they have enough uh, Russian tutors, and I oh. forgot I forgot about that. I I didn't want uh, to be a tutor. <laughs> Of Russian language when I talk, I forgot about that, and I found a job here. I started working as a security. I told you already about that. And mm -hmm. about uh, three months months ago, I remembered, and I asked myself, why don't I send them my uh, my uh, account um, certificate my cert not certificate it was just uh, like uh, i don't know how to say let me inter check it in the dictionary uh, my uh, profile or questionnaire question or form just form oh yeah you questionnaire I, I questionnaire yeah and I send uh, them again, and I didn't expect that uh, my uh, my profile was accepted. And no, I your might application. Go. Oh, the the word you are searching for is uh, your application. Yeah, my application was uh, applied, and uh, I hmm. started working as a Russian tutor. First four days I didn't have any students and uh, I thought that I will not have <laughs> them because uh, some years ago I wanted to find a job in internet I wanted to find only legal job of course and I failed in it I failed in it and I thought that it is uh, not uh, it is uh, impossible to work in internet to work and earn money in internet but after two days, I got my first uh, first booking, and in this day, I mm -hmm. got my uh, second, and uh, then uh, I had uh, I, I had uh, more, yeah, more of lessons. course. I see what you mean. Uh, I uh, just remember when I uh, became an online talkie teacher, um, you know, two months ago, and. Uh, but you know what? I didn't. I, I, I don't know how to say. Um, maybe uh, fortunately, I uh, didn't have enough time at uh, that time. But uh, the only times that I have opened uh, on my calendar uh, were uh, soon um, filled, and uh, I had uh, you know the lessons that I wanted. So. Uh, but as the time goes, I, I could uh, just open more time and see my schedule. And uh, so nowadays it's okay. I, uh, uh, all the times I want to have the, the uh, classes, I have. So thanks, God. And I'm really happy for you that uh, you finally uh, found your dream job here. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't say that it's my dream job. <laughs> But it is a good job, mm, it yeah, is not difficult, you, it's interesting, uh, it's very expected. interesting to speak with uh, different people and just ask uh, them what you want and get answers and money. <laughs> it's not uh, huge money, but anyway, if you have another job, it's uh, very good. And uh, I started oh, thinking, yeah. I started thinking about uh, maybe I could uh, work as a tutor of English because my English yeah. I think not bad and uh, I should I should uh, continue my learning process and uh, in future maybe in one year or in two years if I will study I will be able to work as a English tutor. Yeah for sure why not yeah. Uh, when uh, did you learn English? Mm, the first? Uh, uh, first no 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 where where did you learn it? oh where yeah. I, I just told you i have uh, learned it uh, at a uh, private institute since mm. i was in uh, fourth grade of elementary school it was I, it uh, very expensive to have classes. was it very expensive for you uh 
It was affordable. I cannot say that it was very cheap, uh, but it's a it was affordable. Uh, but in that time, at that time, I can remember that uh, for most of the uh, families uh, here, uh, you know, it wasn't uh, really uh, valuable. I don't know. They they could afford it, but they couldn't uh, just uh, they, they didn't uh, feel the urge the urge uh, to uh, send their urge? children. But what, my what parents, is urge? yeah, my urge. Hmm? What is urge? urge is necessity, necessity, uh, or the emergency. Could you please write me this word? I didn't listen to it. Yeah, of before. course. Mm. Urge. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, of course. I'm, but at that time, my parents just uh, were uh, really, uh, I don't know, thoughtful, and uh, they just. Uh, sent me uh, in a private institute at the, uh, uh, it's interesting that at that time I didn't want to learn English because I, I was uh, really young I didn't know that what is uh, what is the necessity to have all my spare uh, spare time uh, you know uh, spending on uh, you know, going uh, and uh, coming back from the uh, Institute and just learning learning but you know nowadays I'm uh, really thankful uh, about my uh, parents uh, that uh, days but uh, yeah it may be that. you are learning uh, uh, you uh, know have you been learning uh, English all your life not all my life actually but uh, uh, um, I was uh, about let me just say 10 10 years old mm -hmm. when I uh, first uh, started to learn English but uh, and after that I have uh, studied for one year and there was a kind of, you know, pause mm -hmm. for two mm -hmm. years uh, because I have started, uh, you know, junior high school and I found it really uh, difficult mm -hmm. and uh, I just uh, couldn't, uh, you know, manage my time. But after two years, I, again, I started to uh, learn English and, uh, you know, after, let me say, uh, four years, after four years, I uh, just got my diploma. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, did you uh, have uh, lessons uh, where with uh, the native English speakers on the, your no, private school? No, not a native one. Uh, you know, actually, uh, since uh, I, uh, I I just started uh, to work on Italki, I uh, didn't. Uh, I didn't speak to a native one. I don't know uh, now. Now nowadays, no, not a real one. I'm just thinking about my students. Just I think one or two of my students are native English speakers, and then they are uh, learning Persian, not English actually. Uh, I also have a lot, no, not lot, but I have uh, students from US, but I don't uh, speak English with them. I I teach them Russian. I speak Russian. With yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, where did you get? the pronunciation of the words uh you know even in uh, private institutes here they don't uh, emphasize on pronunciation but mm -hmm. uh, you know what i was interested in pronunciation and uh, you know since i uh, started to uh, teach uh, at the first i mean per, uh, private institute i just tried to uh, just came back and uh, search, uh, look for all the uh, simple, even simple words that I uh, already knew, and uh, just check their pronunciation. You know, I had uh, some mistakes at that time uh, uh, that I I didn't even know that uh, I uh, was uh, wrong. But uh, as I started to search uh, for the pronunciation and practice, I uh, just understood that even some uh, sometimes. Uh, there uh, were some simple words that I uh, was uh, pronouncing them uh, wrong. It was uh, interesting because, uh, you know, a very simple one like uh, pear as a fruit. Uh, do, you, do you know pear? Um, pear, no. I know a peach. <laughs> I don't know pear. Oh, yeah. It's similar to uh, peach, but uh, it is pear. It's written like this. And I, uh, ju I can remember I just used uh, to uh, used to uh, pronounce it like pear, but uh, you know, as soon I understood that uh, it is not pear, it is pear. And you know, uh -huh. Americans say pear, and uh, British people say pear. Uh -huh. 
Mm. Like not to pronounce the last, uh, the final uh, R. And I think it was just self-studying. And uh, I, of course, I can uh, just uh, tell you that uh, watching movies uh, can be really useful in this case. Okay. You know uh, what I movies. wanted to notice, Mariam. Uh, I didn't uh, travel a lot in my life, but uh, one time I have been in Egypt. You know, mm. uh, is Egypt have uh, the same culture like Iran or different? Mm. No, I don't. I I don't uh, know them uh, really much, but. I don't think the same culture. Maybe there are some similarities uh, between, uh, you know, uh, the culture of uh, Asian country. Like, uh, we, I can uh, just find something in common with South Korea, or I have some student there. But uh, you know, there are lots of things uh, different. Uh, but uh, you know, Turkey, Turkey is, uh, I think, one of the countries that is, um, you know, most of their cultures are uh, similar to Iran. And maybe, yeah, I can just say you and some uh, some countries like Turkmenistan or uh, I don't know, well, the, our neighbor, our neighbor countries mm -hmm. are like uh, having a similar culture, mm -hmm. but not the not exactly the same uh, culture. Mm -hmm. I just uh, uh, wanted to ask uh, all the women in Iran where are the had uh, handkerchief like yours <laughs> because I uh, mm. saw oh, it do you mean a scarf? It, do you mean yeah, my scarf? yeah, yeah this uh, on mm -hmm. your head uh, and uh, around oh, the this neck this is called a scarf uh, let me just write for you and you can say women covering mm. but uh, you know what uh, based on our religion I, uh, you know may, you may know that uh, you know uh, the official uh, religion in Iran is uh, Islam and we are uh, most of Iranian. I can just say that nearly most of uh, all Iranian are uh, Muslims, and uh, they have to. They have to wear a uh, scarf and women covering where they are in public, and uh, you know to the males that they don't know, uh, facing uh, when they face to the males that they don't know, uh, except for some of their uh, close uh, relatives like uh, your husband, your father, your brother. There are some you know exceptions. But uh, you know, mm, uh, but nowadays on the street you can see, and maybe uh, even if you search on Italki, you can find another teachers or uh, I don't know uh, the learners even from Iran. They aren't wearing, uh, you know, the scarf or something like this. I mean, like on this. the street, uh, if you will walk uh, down the street, mm -hmm. uh, will you? Yeah, it's about our belief. Uh, I just uh, I understand. I think I understand what uh, you mean. Uh, it's also uh, uh, it's al also a law. Uh, we have to uh, wear uh, no uh, scarf in public on the street. But uh, you know, it's not a very strict law. Uh, you know, I can see that uh, these days there aren't uh, uh, someone. Uh, you know, uh, the security. I don't know uh, the someone uh, related to the government to say why you are uh, just wearing. Uh, your clothes in this way, why you're not wearing your scarf in a very proper way. So uh, I can just say that even even if you just try to uh, wear something like a bow, some uh, very small covering of your head, it's okay because uh, it's not okay. But there are uh, there are lots of people uh, you know behaving like this in Iran, and uh, yeah, of course they are free. Uh, I I I saw. <laughs> I think I understood most of your speech, but uh, I didn't understand, for example, how many percent women wear the scarves on the streets in Iran. Mm, you know, uh, the all uh, women uh, in um, in Iran uh, have to have to wear, uh, you know, a scarf or but they know, uh, they covering. don't. They doesn't. But, don't. Uh, uh, yeah, but they don't. Uh, I, I mean that uh, it's not uh, not to uh, not having anything on their head, mm. but it's not very proper. Maybe their hair and sometimes their neck is, uh, you know, uh, um, shown. If they, you, you know, the others can see uh, their hairs, part of their hair, and I don't know some some of this appearance. But maybe they have to. But uh, nobody cares. Mm. Nobody cares. <laughs> 
Okay. And uh, let me just mention uh, something. Uh, I have heard you had a mistake. I never say persons because uh, we have person and the plural form is a people. Uh, me, me, you know, really, it is that maybe you have heard persons because it's no, a, I uh, not, you know, I, uh, I mean the word, not this word. I mean the word percent, percent. Oh, oh no. percent. Oh, I, I, I understood now. I, I uh, just uh, thought you were saying how many persons. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, of course, people. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, how, yeah. How but, um, many persons. Yeah, but we have we have persons in, uh, you know, uh, law course in, you know, my uh, mother, my parents are studying, uh, you know, are, are going to be a lawyer and they are studying law and in some their uh some their uh you know texas english texas uh or uh i mean technical texas uh they uh can use uh, persons as uh the plural form of people it's just there not in general english <laughs> okay. okay so uh okay tell me um while you're learning english uh do you think that uh english is a difficult language to learn uh, I think it is not difficult language, uh, but uh, it uh, depends on uh, what is uh, the uh, native language of uh, of person who wants to learn language. For example, English is difficult for Russian speakers because mm, the pronunciation really? is very the pronunciation of english is very different uh, from russian pronunciation mm. and the words uh, the words uh, are not the same are very di different also and you have to oh. learn each word each word yeah it's very difficult yeah of course it's the same uh, like in um, you know persian because uh, you know in persian uh, we have totally different ha uh, handwriting system and uh, different alphabet mm -hmm. and uh, you know uh, even the place of the um, you know the elements of the sentence are different we are uh, like uh, to use uh, something like a subject then object then the verb mm -hmm. yeah and uh, it is uh, totally different, but you know what? I don't think that maybe it can influence uh, that your native uh, language uh, can help you in some in cases to, to better understand another a foreign language. But I just think that it's uh, about uh, I don't know self practicing and um, you know maybe a, a, of course the environment uh, will influence you. You know, having a good teacher, having uh, having the chance to. Uh, just uh, face someone to uh, talk it, uh, talk with in English, and uh, yeah, of course they all affect. But uh, what do you think? Why some people uh, just uh, learn? Um, you know, uh, they found uh, English uh, difficult uh, rather than the others. I mean, they uh, learn uh, in a very difficult way. They found it very difficult. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what my way was uh, I just told you that I had a lot of uh, time when I decided mm -hmm. to learn English and uh, first of all I started uh, f uh, f I started uh, finding the um, materials about English language on my mm -hmm. Russian language I found mm -hmm. some uh, interesting lessons on italki and I started uh, learning with uh, them and uh, after two months approximately i found my first teacher of english i found very mm -hmm. cheap teacher and i paid him and i had uh, uh, with uh, them one lesson every week and i spent mm. not too much <laughs> money him uh, my first tutor was from Nigeria oh, and uh, yeah. they, I don't like to be honest now their pronunciation and uh, after mm -hmm. two months uh, lessons I found a girl from Ukraine also but she have, has been in the uh, US and uh, mm -hmm. I continued uh, learning with her 
and uh, to be honest I am grateful here for it because he got me uh, the the base of uh, the base of uh, language and after that I had a lot of different tutors <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, yeah. uh, even on okay, Italki, yes. even on Italki. And mm -hmm. uh, did you learn some language on Italki or not? No, no, not at all. <laughs> It's interesting. You don't want to learn any language. Uh, you know, I want. I uh, I'm really interested in diff uh, you know in uh, learning different languages, uh, and I have a, a long term plan for that, but. You know, uh, these days, uh, because of my uh, current situation, uh, the current situation of my life, because I uh, recently got engaged and uh, we need to save money to uh, marry uh, next year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, you know, uh, actually, uh, I don't have enough time to spend. Uh, I'm just working here, working mm -hmm. uh, on, uh, you know, a private institute, going to the uh, university and come back. Uh, so I don't have, uh, you know, uh, the spare time, uh, a lot of spare time to uh, spend learning another language. I have some uh, self-study on uh, Turkish and French, mm -hmm. but um, I, I didn't uh, really uh, just uh, had, had a class on Italki or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, but uh, you know, just uh, my question was that uh, why do some people have more difficulty than others when uh, learning a language? Yeah, I can answer your uh, question very <laughs> easy. I also asked myself about that uh, because mm. uh, a lot of people here where 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 I am living want to uh, know English, but uh, few people can uh, reach some results in it and uh, I asked myself why uh, first reason is that uh, people uh, don't have enough time for it you know if you work uh, quite hard you you came uh, to your you you came to your home very retired and uh, oh, yeah. you, you You didn't have a time to repeat uh, some vocabulary on your job, and uh, you can't do an after work because you are tired. The, it mm -hmm. is first reason, and uh, I think. But another situation, if you have enough time, you can wake up every morning and uh, start uh, learning uh, mm. phrases. Uh, but you know what? Yeah, of course, I agree. But uh, you know, I think there is another reason too. Uh, you know, I uh, found the children, uh, you know, uh, learning uh, faster than the adults uh, because, uh, you know, especially the teenagers or, or maybe uh, you know, the, the adults, uh, they all uh, want to, uh, uh, they want always uh, know why. Why it is like when I just uh, say a sentence in English, uh, they just ask teacher why. Where is the subject? Where is the verb? They are just uh, searching for the grammar. But you know what? Uh, something interesting about the children is that uh, they uh, they just uh, try to imitate you. Try uh, and they have even ber a better uh, accent, be better uh, pronunciation than the adults. You know, I have uh, some uh, because there's a new system here in. Uh, private institutes, even if it's the first time that the person, that the children are learning English or even hearing English, we are to speak English like a native, like a native, you know, teacher. They, they shouldn't just, we shouldn't teach them in our native language. So. They just try to imitate us, you know, uh, using some of the pictures and maybe some gestures. Sometimes, uh, I don't know, uh, everything except for uh, translating in Persian. So, uh, and uh, it's amazing that the, the children are able to, uh, we were able to uh, have a com conversation very fast. Uh, And uh, they just try to imitate you. I, uh, you know, one of my colleague has a uh, my my colleagues has a son. Uh, he's five years old, and uh, you know, her mother is uh, an English teacher, and uh, she just uh, tried uh, to uh, talk to, uh, talking to him from his uh, childhood. When uh, and nowadays, uh, he just uh, say that 
uh, say some words in a very very good accent, a very good uh, pronunciation. For example, the most of Iranian uh, learners uh, just tell "come on" as uh, you know, hurry, and uh, they say "come on." And uh, but uh, you know the the boy just uh, he's five years old and she says he says uh, "come on, come on." It's like the native uh, pronunciation. It's uh, amazing because they are just imita imitating the uh, you and imitating the uh, something yeah, they have uh, I know, heard. I got, I got but, it. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they learn very fast. I know that uh, children uh, learn uh, faster than adults, but uh, <laughs> I have situation that uh, I started learning when I was uh, thirty six and. <laughs> Uh, mm. Yeah, and I told you the first reason, and you interrupted me. <laughs> I wanted to tell you the second one. It's uh, mm. the second. I have to remember it. The second reason is that you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the um, second reason uh, why. Uh, the learning process is uh, quite a difficult uh, activity is uh, that uh, if you want uh, if you want to learn uh, some language you should spend some money for it mm. and uh, people always think uh, no it's better when i will spend my money for another uh, another occupation or another no, another way. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's yeah. uh, the uh, second reason. And also, uh, when uh, you learn English, you have to speak English. If you will mm -hmm. not uh, speak English, you will lose your knowledge. When, uh, where, where do you speak to keep your level uh, uh, high? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Yeah, of course. You mean uh, that speaking is uh, the most important, uh, you know, skill you have to focus on when yeah, you're there. Yeah, where, uh, where do you practice English to keep your knowledge of language? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. It is so, question. Mean, it is question. Where do you practice English? You should practice oh, to keep. Yeah. Oh, here, you know, I have uh, lots, I told you, I started to teach English in a private institute, so uh, I had the chance to uh, just speak English and uh, have uh, lessons. You know, if you're a teacher, then you have, uh, you spend more time studying than the students. Mm. Um, and uh, if you want to learn, uh, I've heard that if you want to learn something, uh, I don't know, in this case about the language, about 99%, uh, you uh you have to t try to teach it even uh teach it to someone okay so it makes you able to um just uh you know no, um, learn it very fast and very efficient and now nowadays uh, as i'm uh, now talking i have uh, even more chance uh, you know uh, when when i have the classes i'm teaching so i'm just facing english and uh, i i won't forget you know lots of words mm. I don't understand. With you speak a lot, but I don't understand the main point. You didn't explain the main point. Where did you find a person who you can speak English with to keep your level of English on your high level, as it is? I I just told you I have a lot of students here on iTalki, mm -hmm. so I'm just speaking with them. A lot of them mm -hmm. are just having conversation. Mm -hmm. So it makes me uh, just able not to uh, forget, not to forget and practice more and more. Mm -hmm. And I also have a self study, you know, some self study. My husband is another iTalki teacher. Ah, and you can to, speak with we him. We used to English. speak. Ah, yes, okay. we used okay. to speak. Uh, that's main with point each other. of uh, that's main point of uh, your answer. <laughs> okay. Mm. And uh, do you no, read the books? Do yeah. you read books? To uh, about English? Of course. You know, uh, yeah, I have lots of them, and uh, in my free times, I uh, you know sometimes uh, just try to read them. But uh, you know what? Uh, our text our medical texts are on uh, English, 
are in English, so uh, my, I need English to understand my even my mm -hmm. no, lessons. Okay, I don't have any questions. I don't have mm. <laughs> any more questions. Okay. So thank, thank you, thank Alex, you. for today's class. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a pleasure uh, for me uh, to meet you as an Italki teacher and uh, someone really friendly. And uh, it so, was a uh, do, do you have something to say? No, it was a pleasant for me too. It was quite useful. But uh, I think uh, I just am um, uh, trying to speak with a different uh, tutors. Yeah, and now I mm -hmm. I understood I I got understanding that it's better to speak with native speakers right? because we speak we uh, I, I with you speak not uh, on very difficult topics. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very mm -hmm, simple conversation. Yeah. And uh, what can you say about my English? Oh, it's uh, in the, at a reasonable. You're at a reasonably good uh, level, but uh, you need to practice more and to speak more. I don't know whether uh, I uh, believe that. Uh, yeah, of course, a native uh, tutor may help you uh, better, but. Uh, it's not about it. You know, uh, it was our first session, and uh, it's not always uh, that much easy. We are, uh, we were just uh, getting to know each other, and uh, because uh, I, I just uh, want to ask uh, the follow-up questions, like uh, because you just told me uh, uh, you became an Italki teacher, uh, no, recently. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, we were, uh, we were have, uh, having some uh, discussions on this. But uh, okay, I hope you enjoy uh, the class today and uh, see you the next time. See you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.